Hello everyone, this is Irfan Zardat Khan from Javelin Technologies uh, bringing you with things that I l really like in SOLIDWORKS 2013. Today I will be talking about sensors. So pretty much the sensors have stayed the same since quite a long time. However, in SOLIDWORKS 2013 there is a new type of sensor. So let me just show you. So under simulation data uh, choose whatever quantities you want to select and you can actually create a sensor and the type of that sensor can be transient. So what it will do is for types of studies which are time dependent so it could be transient thermal analysis, um, it could be um, non-linear analysis, it could be drop tests or dynamics analysis. So basically anything that can be time dependent you can associate a transient sensor with that and what that sensor does is as the analysis is run it will capture the data not at one point in time but throughout when the study is running and so this is a dynamic study and we applied a shock loading to this uh, uh, member over here and uh, as a result of that this is going to vibrate now so uh, what we did is we are we created this sensor the tip displacement at that tip of this pipe so now as soon as I hover over it so previously you remember that sensors display just a simple uh, number which is being recorded by the sensor. In this case you actually get to see the transient sensor graph. So with time how the values of this sensor are changing. So this would be equivalent of previously going doing a displacement plot and then let's say looking at the displacement plot doing a probe let's say picking one of the tip locations and then going and creating a response plot so now instead of doing all that in SOLIDWORKS 2013 if you have that transient surf, uh, sensor defined just go right click hit graph transient sensor versus time and in the y-axis we'll put the displacement and there you go very quickly you will get uh, the graph at wherever you have uh, specified and this can actually in the response in the so you can monitor whatever quantity you want and you can just look at how that quantity changes with time right I hope you will find this new enhancement useful for yourself